Greetings and welcome back to Victoria 2. Alright, so yeah, things are getting very very ugly because of the whole infamy thing and everyone declaring war of contagion, uh, containment. Right, let's continue and we'll probably be seeing uh, France running into Serbia and crushing everything. Now what? More rebels, alright. In the meantime we're still building some troops. I might need to cancel this armor, so that I can build a few more. Because I can't make any tanks. So, let's build some more cards. Maybe some more airplanes. That might increase my defensive capabilities. And might make it more difficult for France to actually... I don't know, invade. Although it's gonna be... It's not gonna have that much effect. What about cavalry actually? I never really checked. Missars. Missars could be useful. Dragoons. At least they still have an attack value. Not as much as a tank. But more than an airplane. So I'm going to get rid of a few things and get a few dragoons. Engineers aren't bad either. I might be able to get supplies for those guys, unlike the tanks. Okay, so more research done. Let's go for... I don't, I don't know really. Something that's still useful. Factory input efficiency. I need rubber, damn it. I'm not able to get any at all, I think. Nope. Not even one small piece of rubber. So, let's take a look actually. In high demand, supply demand, yeah. And France has a ton of it, which means France is probably gonna have tanks. No doubt about that. It's only a matter of time before their armies arrive. Possibly when the war is over. Uh, the other war is over actually. Is this still... Uh, I don't think France is in any of this. So... Yeah. If they have access with any of these guys, they're gonna be uh, marching straight towards me. If they don't have access, they're gonna be landing, which might still give me an opportunity to destroy them. Just playing the waiting game now. There's nothing I can do. As I said many times before, uh, you pretty much lose all control over what really should happen. The great powers decide everything, which is something that they really should change if they ever make Victoria 3. They should give more power to the uh, secondary powers so that at least you can like decide something. Pretty much the only interesting thing that the secondary power has is that you can colonize and that you can try and leave a sphere of influence which usually means that you're going to be going to war with your sphere leader and pretty much screw yourself over anyway so you can't really do much you can't even intervene with any wars which would be very useful anyway playing the waiting game waiting until france arrives see if we can do anything but with no tank supply, it's going to be very difficult to make a difference against their possibly big armies. But it's actually taken a while before they arrive. I'm sort of surprised by that. And the whole infamy thing still needs some tweaks as well.
Like, Paradox games are nice, but there's a whole bunch of stupid things that they put into those games that totally don't make any sense. Oh, oh, wait a minute, we got France now. Invading from the back. Douchebags. What's this like? 20,000? Do we have any chance of actually defeating this army? Uh, we might need to mobilize, actually. I'm gonna crush this stack first. Well, crush maybe a bit much, but... Should at least be able to win. If we don't, that'd be very sad. At least they didn't send that many troops. 40,000. They're dead. Croatia has ours. Oh yeah, I should totally be building more forts. I totally forgot. Because that will totally help. Oh, we got more French on the way. I uh, should uh, be mobilizing now, maybe. Because more and more French are going to be arriving, so let's do that. Oh, and we should get some research as well. So let us go for... Uh, more factory input efficiency. Now we actually have a CB against Croatia. It's interesting, actually. Although we don't need to be able to do the repay debts thing and get a bit of prestige. We won't be able to take it over. We need to justify that, which means that we'll be gaining more infamy, so that won't work. It's very unfortunate. Right. We're also still mobilizing. We need to crush these guys. I have plenty of money. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, now we got Austria. This is gonna be a lot worse than France. Son of a bitch, I hate. Sometimes I just hate this game. Because... It's out to destroy you as a player. Right, well... No, 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 idiots. Come back. Alright, we gotta get some decent stacks going. I guess this will have to do. And now we gotta crush Austria. And hope that France stays away for the time being. Oh, no, we got Belgium invading. Wonderful. And we got Scandinavia. Wait a minute, where did Scandinavia come in with this? Oh, son of a... Yeah, okay, so this is pretty much the end. There's gonna be no snowball's chance in hell that I can fight against all of this. So, um, what do I do first? I don't know. I'm gonna be out of tanks soon. Um, let's see. Uh, these are just... these stacks are just too big. Let's see, Scandinavia has probably a whole bunch of tanks, which is bad. I don't. They're all dead. So... Let's go crush these guys then. And crush might be too much to say. So we tried, but the game just hates us. Alright, now we gotta stay there until we recover a little bit. So no 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 you idiots don't don't leave the battle stay you're winning. I don't even know what'll happen once these wars end. I'll probably just be reduced to what Serbia used to be, which is basically nothing. Right, 
this is bad. <laughs> utterly, utterly bad. Okay, we want this one, that's good. Uh, this one is still going. We may need to reinforce. Still about uh, two and a half years to go. I don't think we'll make it until then. Let's see, how are we doing at war scores? Uh, we're winning this one slightly, we're winning this one slightly, but only slightly. I'm probably going to need to merge all my troops back here because there's not much left. And there's just so many enemies. Uh, where did Scandinavia go to? I don't know. And it's taken ages for me to destroy these last few troops. Okay, at least we won that. Let's merge all of this. Uh, we're gonna need to wait until they... We lost something. That's weird. Um, right. There's nothing much for me to do against all of this. There's just so many. For fuck's sake. Now if you lose this battle, it's pretty much over. And I think we will be losing this one because they are reinforcing. There's nothing I could have done against this because of the stupid... If I didn't go over my infamy, uh, this might not have gone this bad, but... I really should not have gone over my infamy, because I had a CP, so I should have been fine, but the game just has some stupid things like that. And this battle just keeps on going and going. What? Well, now what? Contain survey, you already did that. Oh, it's France. Okay, fuck's sake. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Doesn't make any sense. Right. That's why I hate the late game in this game. It's not fun unless you are a great power. And you can beat up... The smaller powers. If you're a smaller power, you're dead. Okay, they're just reinforced, so this means that we'll be losing this fight. Which means that we'll be losing well, pretty much everything we fought for for the last 100 years. This game was 10 years too long. And we lost the battle. So when exactly do these wars end? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh well, we might win. We got some troops again. Not much. Oh wait, they're actually fighting each other back here. That's weird. Oh no wait, something else. What do we got now? Military action from Turkey. Who are we fighting against? Uh, Turkey, Italy, Russia. Uh, screw you, Turkey. Um, I don't even have any access anymore to give. Uh, let's unsiege some stuff if we can. Oh yeah, they're gonna quickly resiege everything. But I might have some, I actually have a ton of experience with my troops. Which is nice, I guess, but it's not gonna be enough. Let's just see where this goes. Why is this guy going there automatically? Oh, evil. Ah, yes, of course. Hello, Romania. Looks like Italy doesn't give a crap. 
All right, we gotta get some research done. Not that it matters that much anyway. But investment banks, uh, I don't know, culture, mass politics. Doesn't really do anything for me, does it? Might as well for, go for this. All right, let's see, can we actually win this one? Good. I don't even know what they what they did back here. Not so. Everything is blacked out, but for the rest, I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sake! Thank you, Scandinavia. Thank you very much for screwing me over. So from France, proceed. I don't even know what that did. Except for the fact that all these guys are now going to be sieging everything. I, I still have my territory, apparently. So I guess that's good. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're actually winning this one. I don't even know who's fighting me now. Or who isn't fighting me. Let's see, we got Austria, Scandinavia, Romania and Egypt. Oh, it's just Egypt. We're actually winning this one so far. But just barely. Someone goes bankrupt, I don't give a shit. If this doesn't get reinforced, we might still be able to win. I honestly don't know what the thing did. Like we have... Maybe we got a lot of war exhaustion. Because we've pretty much been at war forever. Oh, come on. Go away. What's this now? He suffer from Romania. What do you want? Uh -huh. Not sure. Oh, crap. They're gonna... Okay, they didn't reinforce. That's good. We still might be able to win this fight. Although we're losing a lot of troops. Let's see, we still have armor left, apparently. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what the hell the, all of this is. It's just stupid, I tell you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, okay. Wait, this is Croatia. We don't have an army anymore. Go away. This is just stupid. We shouldn't have lost that war. We lost Croatia. We lost all our tank factories. It's just stupid. I hate games with stupid mechanics, even though it's the best Paradox game at the moment, but it still has stupid mechanics, nonetheless. Alright, um, we start war with Turkey and Croatia. What do these guys have? I don't know. Uh, we can't build an army because we're not allowed to, for some shenanigan reasons. So yeah, I, I honestly didn't want to play. Well, I guess I did want, want to play the last, the end of this campaign, but it's... Oh, shit. Okay, never mind, we might be good. Flu pandemic? Sure, why not? Uh, I gotta go crush these guys somehow. Let's see, this guy has a lot of attack, a lot of morale. We might be able to do it. There's not that many troops here. Let's go over here and wait for the end of the month. Let's go in and see if it works. They might have tanks. They don't. Okay, we should be good. Well, we haven't lost everything yet. We only lost Croatia. I guess it could have been worse. 
We're not able to siege this quickly enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to kill these guys first. Then we'll come back and siege. Oh wait a minute, Croatia's back. Never mind. I'm gonna set you to automatically crush them. Maybe it'll work. Actually I shouldn't. Because there's some big stacks around here. We got Egypt invading. Luckily I can mobilize some troops to dispatch all these guys, but it's gonna be difficult to keep this up. I'm not able to build any military at all. And my economy is utter crap, because we did lose Croatia. These are all irregular. And we're down to rank 30 because we lost a whole bunch of prestige. Yeah, 10 years too long. More Egyptian forces, luckily they got delayed. They might reinforce, they may not. I'm gonna have to replenish my troops first before I can continue. Because there's a lot of uh, Egyptian troops there. Yeah, pretty much lost all my prestige. That's just stupid. All because of that stupid infamy hit that I got for trying to take something that I had a CB for. Gotta get peace with Egypt. Of course they won't. Right, well. Now we gotta get some more research. Right, this is done, this is done. Let's get this. Alright. Actually, I guess we should get a bit of prestige instead, since now we actually do need it. Well, either way, we only lost one state. I guess it could have been worse. And we still have some mobilized troops. I guess it's something. I did lose all my factories in Croatia, which is bad. Uh, let us see. Uh, let's do this one. I don't think I have many capitalists anyway. Oh. Game over. Well, wonderful. <laughs> this didn't go very well. I never managed to get uh, make Yugoslavia. I never managed to... Yeah, and just a few years too long. Because the end game is uh, quite utterly stupid if you're not a great power. Which is bad. I really hope that for Vigitri 3 they make being a secondary power a lot more interesting. So that you at least have some power, because otherwise secondary power seems like just a way to tell you you're not good enough and you're still trash, like you can't do anything. So yeah, anyway, I did enjoy the, the playthrough up until I guess the last few episodes, but... I'm probably going to be playing with the historical project mod. I'm not sure which nation. Uh, I still haven't played with anyone in uh, South America, so maybe it's going to be Argentina. Uh, I'd also like the USCA, although it, it's different in historical project mod, because USCA didn't really exist, it was something else, some other name. But uh, the nice thing about it is that it does start with a whole bunch of uh, states trying to break free, so we have to fight your way through that in the beginning of the game. So, 
Yeah, I don't know. At least uh, we managed to grow Serbia. We never got to Yugoslavia, but I guess it's something. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.